Out in the country on a farm, there was a chicken yard. Every morning, the maid gathered fresh eggs, put them in a basket, and took them to the kitchen. Now, one morning, when the maid was on her way to the kitchen, one egg fell out of the basket, hit a little stone, and Peep was born. But he wasn't a proper chick yet. To begin with, all he had were two great big eyes. He didn't know what his feet were for at first, because he was wrong way up. But then he found he could wiggle his toes. All the effort was worth it, for at last he had landed the right way up. But by now he was sleepy. And just as he was dozing off, he heard a very strange little sound. Beep. What could it be? Then he heard beep. And suddenly he said, it's me. I can go beep. can stand up too. But by now, he was so dizzy with all the excitement, he fainted dead away. Now, water is a cure for fainting. And just at that very moment, it started to rain. Peep was so young, he didn't even know what water is. So he leaned forward to look in the little pool and he fell in and got his beak full of water. <clears throat> and when he swallowed the water, he shouted, my, that's good. <clears throat> and he started to drink and drink and drink until all the water in the little pool was gone. But he was still thirsty. and Pete didn't know how to get to it. Then he began to get an idea. Maybe feet are to walk with. And he got so excited, he ran to the pond. there was someone else in that pond. Quack, the duck. And Quack dived just in the nick of time to pull Peep out before he drowned. But he no sooner got him up than down he went again. And when Quack pulled him up this time, he was quite cross. He wondered why Peep couldn't swim. And Peep ran away as fast as he could and shook and shook till his feathers stuck out like spikes. Our baby chicks hate the water. Then Quack, the duck, who didn't like living all alone in the pond, went over to make friends. And as all ducks do, the first thing he said was, Quack, Quack. Peep, said Peep. Quack, said Quack. Beep, quack. Beep, quack. Beep, quack. Quack was very puzzled. He said, where do you come from? Beep said, from an egg. And Quack said, no, you couldn't come from an egg. If you came from an egg, you'd say quack, not beep. And at that, he turned and stomped away, leaving Peep very sad. And Pete said, but I'm sure I came out of an egg. Because here's the eggshell I came out of. And then he got an idea. I'll put all the pieces together, and I'll go and show them that I really did come out of an egg, and then we'll be friends. Beep, 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 beep. And 
Pete burst out of the shell and said, look, this is the egg I came out of. The duck looked at him and said, then you must be a duckling after all, even though you do say peep and you can't swim. So come with me. We're going to Green Island. It's a lovely place. Quack said, welcome to Green Island. Only ducks are allowed here, you know. And while Pete was thinking that over, somebody else arrived. Chirp, chirp, chirp. And Quack said rather crossly, who are you? And Chirp said, I'm a robin. I can fly. Watch. Only not very well yet. And Quack said, don't you realize this island is only for ducks? And Chirp said, what do you mean? He's not a duck. He said, yes, I am. Nonsense. He's a chicken. And poor Peep said, what's a chicken? And Chirp, who knew a lot of things, said, well, a chicken's just a chicken. Everybody knows that. A duckling's a duckling, and you're a duckling. A chicken's a chicken, and you're a chicken. And a robin's a robin, and I am a robin. But fortunately, we are all birds. Birds, said Peep. Yes, birds. Because we all came out of an egg, and because we all have wings. But you can't fly, said Quack. No, not yet, said Chirp. So, said Quack, you can't get out to see the big wide world. Yes, I can, said Chirp. I can walk, even if I can't fly. Aha, said Quack. But we are on an island. Now, I can go and see the big wide world. Because I can swim. Wait, Crack. We all want to see the big wide world. And I have an idea. You can swim. So you could carry Chirp and me across the water. And soon Chirp will be able to fly. He'll be able to tell us what it's like way up in the sky. And maybe someday I'll be able to do something too. And this seemed such a good idea that Peep and Quack and Chirp all went off together to see the big wide world.